What is up, fellow YouTubers? It's your sexy goth bad boy, King Cobra JFS, back at you with another video. Wow. Ooh wee. YouTube, I need to make a rant, because it's long overdue. I got something to say. If you don't want to fucking listen, there's the back button. Nobody's fucking stopping you. I am sick and tired of people shoving sex in my face. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of society just shoving sex in everyone's faces in general. Fucking tired of it. There are more important things in life. And society acts all lewd and prude about it at the same time while shoving it in your face. Don't ask me how that works, but that's exactly how that works. Society acts offended by anything sexual in nature. Society will act super offended if it's sexual in nature, but then turn around and shove it in our face. How does that work? And furthermore, I'm tired of people saying Josh needs to get laid. Most of you saying it, it's coming from a good place, I get that. But sex is not a need, it's a fucking want. You wouldn't walk up to a homeless person and say, you need to eat. And then shove a fucking juicy red steak in front of their face like, oh look, it's cooked medium rare. Doesn't that smell so good? Oh... I say, I'd love to give this to you, because I know it would, you know what I'm saying? No, you wouldn't do that. Okay? So why would you shove sex in someone's face, especially if they haven't been laid in almost two years? Now that's kind of a drastic comparison, but it's the fucking truth. You know? I figured society would be a little bit more sensitive to this issue, but I guess not. And then, you know, that's just it. When you haven't had a girlfriend in almost two years, and then you got society fucking shoving it in your face every chance they get, it's fucking irritating. Like, thanks for reminding me, asshole. And when I, when I examine my good qualities, I go, why the fuck is it so hard for me to get a girlfriend in this town? Three reasons. One, I'm autistic. Two, some of the girls in this town are kind of picky. And three, I don't have a car. That may be too far, but it's the fucking truth. I don't know, you know? I've heard some girls in this town say, oh, I'd totally date Gothic King Cobra. So I choose to focus on those chicks, you know. Even if they're taken, they're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate it. But here's why I'm sick and tired of it, though. Okay, I'm sick and tired of people shoving sex in my face. I'm tired of it. Because of that negative stereotype that all men want is sex. I'm so tired of that standard, dude. So fucking tired of it. And you sitting there shoving sex in my face, making me feel like a piece of shit because I haven't had nobody in two years. Screw you. The longer I have to wait, the sweeter it's going to feel when I finally meet the goth chick of my dreams. So fuck the haters talking shit, and fuck the people shoving sex in my face.
And fuck our society shoving sex in everyone's faces, too, for that matter. There are more important things in life than getting laid. Like being a good person, even when a society treats you like shit. Even when people treat you like shit and take advantage of your kindness. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. I find myself saying that a lot these last couple of years because it's the fucking truth. You try to be a good person and people just take advantage of it. They're like, oh, this guy's autistic. He's a good person. Oh, this is just putty in my fucking hands. I can't tell you how many times I've heard my friends say, Josh, I'm sick and tired of everyone using you. It's not right. You're a good person and you don't deserve it. I try to be a good person, but sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's just easier to be a bigger asshole and have everyone fucking hate you. It's the truth. You try to be a good person, what does that get you? Sometimes it's just easier to be a bigger asshole and have everyone hate you than fucking try to be a good person and have a couple people fucking take advantage of you. At least now they have an excuse to dislike me. That's what it feels like. You know, in the last couple of days, I've spent helping my friends. <laughs> you know, one of my friends needed help cleaning her house and taking the trash out. So I helped her, so I helped her and her husband out with that. And just today, and just today, my other friend needed help doing laundry and I volunteered. I didn't expect nothing from it it's just because I'm a good person and that's the kind of friend I am. You know, if I see my friends who need help, I don't care if they ask for it or not. I'm going to help them any way I can because that's the kind of person I am. And sometimes if I see a total stranger who needs help, I'm not the kind of person that's too shy to help them, you know? I try to be a good person, but sometimes it's not easy. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't go up to a homeless person and shove money and food in their face just to take it away. So why would you shove sex in someone's face who hasn't been laid in a couple years? Oh, that's different because... Okay, yes, it is different. That's kind of an extreme point to make. But it's the truth, you know... Not trying to be a prick about this rant, this rant that I'm going on, this tangent, this rant. But it's the truth. 
You know, if you shove sex in someone's face who hasn't been laid in a long time, you shove food and money into a homeless person's face without giving them any of it, people would call you an insensitive bastard. It's the truth. And if you're going through a dry spell, take a leaf out of my book. Try to have some patience. I know it's frustrating when everyone and their mama is telling you, you need to get laid. Oh, Gothic King Cobra needs some pussy. Oh, Gothic King Cobra needs to get laid. Ignore them. Just ignore them, dude. It's not worth getting worked up over. If you have the right attitude when it comes to getting laid, that's all that matters. You know? That's all that matters. I like getting pussy as much as the next heterosexual, but making money is more important. What good is having a girlfriend if you can't spoil her rotten, give her the world on a silver platter? That's the way I see it. If you can't respect her like a fellow human being and spoil her rotten... Now what good is having a girlfriend? You know? Yeah. What good is having a girlfriend if you can't respect her like a fellow human being and if you can't give her the world on a silver platter? That's what I'm saying, YouTube. Look at all that hair growing back in. I love it. I freaking love it. Maybe the sides are a little bit thicker than the top, but at least the top's coming back in. Or maybe the top's just growing a little bit slower than the top. That could be what it is, I don't know. But I wanna let my hair grow back out see what it looks like you know I mean thus far I don't have any complaints yeah And furthermore, YouTube, furthermore, sex is overrated unless you're with a girl you care about. Sex is overrated unless you're with a girl you're physically and mentally attracted to. It's the fucking truth, dude. Sex is so much better when you're with a girl that you're totally into. And she feels the same way. You know, when you're with a girl you're physically and mentally attracted to, she's your whole world, and she feels the same way about you, the sex with that is just fucking awesome, okay? It means more than just some shitty one-night stand, and that's the fucking truth. That's the reason why I'm not a player. 
because I would much rather have sex with a girl who's of age, who's clean, and who I'm attracted to. You know? It'll mean something if there's a mutual attraction, you feel me? Yeah, buddy. And the one thing that I love about the Bond Pheromone Soap is I can use my Bond Pheromone Soap to help other dudes get laid. That's no bullshit. I've walked to the bar, had a couple drinks, walked by some chick, and some chick staring at her boyfriend when she gets a whiff of me. Oh, that goth dude smells good. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you when, I, when, when we get home. And the dude's sitting there saying, fuck yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, dude. So if, the, so if I'm not getting laid, at least I'm helping someone else get laid. It's the way I see it. And if you have not checked out tacticalsoap.com, fellas, what's stopping you? This soap is designed to make women horny. I can't tell you how many times I've walked by women wearing that Bond pheromone soap. And chicks be like, ooh, that goth dude smells good. That's making my pussy wet. And we're like, yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't guarantee you'll get laid, but it does guarantee you'll smell good to every chick you walk by. How much money would you pay for that? How much fucking money would you pay to smell good to any woman you walk by? Any woman that catches a whiff of your body odor after showering with some tactical soap. How much money would you pay? Most guys would pay three to four hundred bucks just to have that awesome power at their fingertips. But I'm telling you right now, a bar... A bar of tactical soap is like $11 in some odd sense. Relatively cheap considering how awesome that product is. Not a sponsor, that's just free advertisement. I'm telling you right now, dude, Bond Tactical Pheromone Soap, that shit kicks ass, man. I would have killed to have this 20 years ago. When I was like 15 or 16, rolling around in high school. Oh, dude. Dude. What a time to be alive, man. And who knows? Maybe Bond pheromone soap, you know, that, that's good stuff, but who knows? Maybe tacticalsoap.com will make a pheromone soap for her. Call it Goddess Tactical Soap. Make the bar soap pink and purple, you know. Which, that would even the playing field out just a little bit, I'm just saying. You know, they make a pheromone soap for the ladies that makes them smell really, 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 really pretty. Every guy they walk by gets a boner. I'm telling you right now, they could make it happen. And tacticalsoap.com would, man, their sales would through the roof, dude. Through the fucking roof. You know, I'm just saying, it's an idea. If you want to see tacticalsoap.com make a pheromone soap for the ladies to attract the dudes, comment goddess tactical soap below in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Couples who have a hard time fucking each other just because they're older, they're grumpy, they're senile. 
the dude puts on some pheromone soap, the chick puts on her soap, and they both smell good to each other, and it just happens. You know what I'm saying? Ooey. Anyways, YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you cool cobras later.